So in this video, I will teach you how you can set up TechnoParrot Arcade Machine Emulator on your PC. So first of all, go to technoparrot.com. Links can be found in the description down below. Go there, create an account. I highly recommend you to do that because some games require you to have some specific online keys which you can get from the website. So create an account, then like scroll down and just do this free download here. You can go with like their premium membership because it will like give you like an online member, uh, online multiplayer and stuff. So now we're gonna download the TP uh, B uh, yeah, TP Boo Bootstrapper web installer. So that's the one we're gonna download. So I already have it downloaded over here. So extract it using 7-zip. Once you extract this, you need just need to launch this TP Bootstrapper.exe. It will ask for admin privileges. So just give it admin privileges. Then it will like give you all of these uh, different uh, like cores for the emulator. So now here's my take on it. I would recommend you to install like the full version. Don't go with like selected ones because technically only these two is required. These are optionals. So let's just click on the browse first. We're going to browse a folder where we're going to install this. So I want to install this in uh, my games drive emulation techno parrot right here. I recommend you to create a uh, separate folder called techno parrot anywhere, wherever you feel fine. And then inside it, just create a folder called games and paste to whatever games you have inside, inside that folder. So I'll just uh, select techno parrot here and then click on select folder. So now we're going to do full installation. We're not doing like this optional one. Like I said, highly recommend you for maximum compatibility, go with full installation here. So now it will like download all this stuff. Now it will take some time. So I will see you once this is done downloading. So now as you guys can see, this is downloaded. You will get this pop-up icon saying that Techno Parrot has downloaded successfully. If you don't get this, just wait for a bit because like the downloader doing some background stuff. Because sometimes it takes a couple of seconds to show. But anyways, once you do that, uh, like you get this dialog box, just click on OK. It will like close down the downloader and launch the emulator. So now uh, we have launched the emulator. Now you have to like, you can read the privacy policy if you want to and all, all of the other stuff. So just click on accept to like accept all the terms and conditions. Now it will say you have no game set up at the moment. We want to add one now. So we we going with no at the at the moment. It will ask you like two times. Just click on no. You will get this UI like that. Then you just have to uh, go on this. Click on check for updates. I highly recommend you to update your emulator before setting it up because it will like. Uh, remove a lot of hassles uh, with the dependencies and stuff. So now you guys can see I have the updates available. So let's just update this. So once you like click on the install update button, there are like all these stuff you can update. You can read the change log if you want to. So let's just click on update. So now the updates are being downloaded. So I will see you once this is done downloading. So now the download is pretty much done. So once the download is finished, you will basically get this updater doing its own thing. Like it's patching everything uh, within the emulator. You can read like what's going on with, with it over here. So it's like literally updating everything. So once this is this shit is updated, you can you will get this dialog again. So we're gonna click on no once again, okay? We're gonna open this. So now you will get like the uh, welcome screen here. Click on next. Now you need to download the DAT file. How do you download it? Let's click on this. It will take you to a GitHub page here. I'm not gonna provide link for this specific page in the description down below. You can just get it through the emulator itself. So let's just scroll down and download this Rome vault dot zip. So this is done. Now I have it downloaded already. So open it with seven zip. Now here's my thing. I like to extract this file inside where I installed the techno parrot. Okay. So you just need to extract this file called uh, techno parrot collection uh, Rome vault dot DAT. We don't need ext files. So just drag drop extract this. Once this is extracted, you can close down this. You can delete the archive if you want to. Then go back to the Techno Parrot launcher and then click on Browse. Then click on that wherever you install Techno Parrot. Just select that file we just uh, extracted. Then click on Open. Then click on Next. Now we need to scan for our games. So, uh, like I, I personally like to keep it inside the Techno Parrot directory in a folder called Games. So that's my games right here. Select the folder. Click on scan in for games. Now it will show you this small pop-up like you have no game setup. Do you want to add one now? So click on no. 
it will like say stuff like found one game that were added to the library and sometime it does not add them for some reason it has like some kind of bug going on and so we, if you have like if you like open this multi game configuration and you don't see any games over here that means your games are not detected don't worry there's a fix for it so let's just click on cancel here click on no again so now we are in this screen okay that means your techno parrot setup is done now you can do controller setup right here if you want to currently there is no game so that's why it's not happening now you can just click on this hamburger menu on top left click on add game now i have two games right i have a grid and uh, dead or alive 5 so let's add dead or, dead or alive 5 first uh sorry 6 so this right here is dead or alive 6 we can just click on add games remember hamburger menu then add games okay so now we add that now we can click on uh, game settings and now we can just select the input API, set it to X input instead of D input because I'm using an 8 bit do controller which works as an X input controller. It's basically Xbox controller. So next thing is we need to select the executable. So find your game, select your executable, click on open. So now to start this game, we need this general APM3 ID. Now, how are we gonna find that? First of all, click on save settings, okay? Now you see this online profile here, click on that. It will take you back to the Techno Parrot website and it will give you the specific key. Now I'm going to hide this key because this is specifically for me and you don't have to share it with anybody else. So let's just click on close. Go back to the game setting once you copy that ID and then paste that ID over here. Okay. So let's just paste that then click on save. So now our game is set up. Okay. Now the next step I'm going to add my uh, race driver as well. So we can search for it as well here. So mine is grid right here. So let's just click on grid, click on add game. Same with the grid as well. Game setting. You can go with like X input, select like wherever you have your uh, exe available. It will like even, it will even tell you like what uh, exe you need basically. So let's just save that. So now uh, we're going to set up our controller. Otherwise the, there won't be any input. So click on this controller setup and then click on like start adding buttons so now here's the thing if this thing does not take your controller input for some reason you can simply restart the emulator and it will start working okay that's how i fixed mine so as you can see service button i select uh, i put it on back button start is on start then this is a fighting game so i'm gonna put it on uh, my d-pad like left up down left right guard button here punch kick you can pretty much do everything like just set up your controllers accordingly. Like you have to start the game to figure out like which uh, which button go where. So let's just do this. Click on save setting. Make sure you click on save setting every time. Otherwise uh, you won't be like, you won't be able to save stuff. Okay. Now click on play. To test this if everything is working nicely, you will get this type of window. It will like loading the game and the core. You will get like a smiley face icon with saying like, yeah, it's done or something like that. I will show you in a second. So if you get this success and have fun with a smiley face, that means your game files are fine and you will be able to play the game absolutely without any issue. You can also check out the compatibility tab in the website itself. On the Technoparrot website, there's a compatibility page. You can check that. So as you guys can see, the game is now uh, working here. So I'm going to close this. Now, in case your game does not start, you can click on this verify icon. And it will like open up a menu for you to like verify all the files so that you guys can check the game integrity. That means like if you have any corrupt files or anything else, if that's the case, then you have to get the files again. So mine is absolutely fine. I have already did the integrity check. So that's for the setup. Now I have an issue with this game. Okay, I'm going to cancel this. So for some reason, the X input method for this game does not work. That means my controller is not taking any input. Like I'm not able to access uh, the game, like pest racing start and all. So in case that happened, select the direct input, save the setting, go back to the controller and set up controller accordingly. Because some games require to have like an di direct input and some game require to have X input. So set this up accordingly in case your controller does not work. I personally recommend you to start with X input, then move around with it. 
So in case if that does not work, then switch to uh, direct input method. So now let's start the game again and check if like the inputs are working fine or not. So it's loading core again, like it will say like success once the core is loaded. It does take some time, but so don't worry about it. But anyways, when it's saying have fun, that means your game is now launching. And then, so it does take a couple of seconds. Sometimes it take a minute to start. So that's that. So here's my game finally started. I can just start here. Now it's in Chinese right now because, uh, sorry, in Japanese because I have the game from Japanese region. So I can play it. I'm not gonna play it right now. So that's it for the whole emulation setup. If you guys still need help, I have a Discord server. Make sure to join that and create a support ticket. Uh, I mean, the in the in a support forum, create a post. Don't create a ticket. It I we we have tickets for some specific stuff. So do that, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Hope this video helps you out. Make sure you like on this and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more emulation related content. And if you have any personal requests, do let me know. I would love to make videos about them. Yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> but anyway, let's just close this. Anyways, I'm going to see you in the next one, guys. Have, have a good day.